Hi, everyone. I'm trying to get off of this ladder. All right. Hi. I am going to do uh, a Selman Spiral today. I've got a 12 by 12 gallery wrap level 3 canvas. It is taped onto my uh, pottery wheel. Completely level. I've sprayed the back. Um, taped. All of that. Good stuff. Um, so, I haven't done one of these in a while. So, I was going to do one of these. And I haven't done one of these this big. So, and I'm sorry if it's a little messy. It's okay. Everything's okay in this camp. In this art room. Um, I'm just going to take a ton of colors that I have mixed up. Um, this is just going to be a, an amazing, just, I don't know how many colors we're going to use, but we're going to use colors. Um, I see colors that I haven't even put over here on my table yet. We're getting them together, 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 like we're doing it together, people. Okay, so I know my colors in my bottles and stuff, and we're going to get started. Um, oh, I'm not used to this. It's connected. My camera's connected to a plug in the ceiling, so now I'm having to watch my face. Every time I go under it, I'm going to be using, I'm not going to use my smallest, Dad, it! I'm not going to use my smallest uh, embossing tool. I'm going to use the two millimeter and I may end up using the six millimeter side of it. Um, not sure. I hadn't even haven't even cleaned it off. I know I'm walking around. We'll get started in just a second. I had to get paper towels. This is fixing to be a very messy pour. I don't have anything around my pottery wheel to, <coughs> to catch the excess paint that's going to be flying today. And that's okay. Because it's fun to get messy here at this art in this art room. This is. My pouring medium it's mixed pour this is a product that Krista Rasmussen makes you can email her and I'll put this in the description box her email is Krista 8974 at gmail.com you can get your very own bottle or three um, I usually can't order one bottle at a time it's like Lay's potato chips. You can't just eat one. I just can't order just one bottle. Um, I unfortunately do not no longer carry it in my shop. Um, but I do carry a lot of great art, uh, art products. My website is www.beckyselmansartstudio.com. You'll hop on there and look. I carry Boom Gel Stain, Global Products, Deco Art, um, Satin Enamels, all kinds of good stuff. So let's get these colors going. I know I about talked your ear off. Okay, so I am in Texas. Right now it is <laughs> horridly yucky outside. <clears throat> but it's the good old Texas weather. I'm going to be telling you the paint colors that I use as I go, and then I'll put it in the description box. Ooh, not that. Then I'll put it in the description box once I'm uh, done, and I'll have to go back and look at the video and watch the colors that I use. But that's okay, because it's all just great in this hood, in this art, in this art shop. 
<clears throat> okay, so let's get it started. Oh, I do carry, uh, this is a new product for from Global Products. It's a new color that I've started to carry. It's phthalo green. It's a great, great green, great green. Um, just want to show y'all. So what I'm going to do, this see how spiral. I blob down colors. And it's not, I used, I used to do it in a puddle here and make it bigger and then swirl it. And I still do that on occasions, but this one, we're just going to do blobs on top of blobs, color puddles everywhere. And then we're going to uh, do the spiral. So I'm not caring what colors I'm using. It doesn't matter about the transparencies or the opacities. Of these paints in this spiral because when you drag it the paints are going to cross each other they're going to create colors so uh, they're going to create drags through each color so there's my first blob of color that is watermelon by global colors it's a professional flow This is Brilliant Magenta by Josonia. This is Aqua Color Shift by Folk Art. This is uh, Phthalo Green. By oh, and that paint is rather thick. I'm not going to use that paint again. That paint was really thick. Um, Thalo Green by Joe Sonia, do believe that was Arlide Yellow by Joe Sonia. This is Dark Sea by Global Colors. This is, oh, Masquerade Blue, I think. No, this is Me Moody Blue by Parage Posses. This is Blue Lagoon by Global Colors. This is Pyro Red. By Joe Sonia. This is Light Blue Permanent by Liquitex. This is Raspberry. Shift, I do believe, by Folk Art. This is Burgundy. All of my paints are mixed. Seven to one with Mix Pour. This is Global Colors Black. This is... Folk Art Fire Opal, the Treasure Gold series. We're going to come in with some Cool Mint by Global Colors. I see a booger. I have to break out the big guns, my tweezers. Okay. This is a long process. Um, it's fun. 
you don't have to add so many colors, but I do have a whole lot of colors I'm just trying to work with. Use up. Do some stuff with. No, I'm not going to use that. Now I'm going to do this color on top of that. This color there. I'll do another blob of that there. A blob there. We're just going to start blobbing out colors. That was watermelon. This is cool mint again. Okay. We're going to put some red in there. Then we're going to, after we put these blobs on, then we're going to throw some streaks across it with just some drizzles of color. That always makes a little bit, it always helps to drizzle. That way you don't have um, different um, streaks and stuff, uh, like absent spots. Um, I've got some of this folk art. Ooh, there's a booger. Robin's Egg Blue. Okay. Um, Robin's egg blue, and there was some. Y'all, can y'all imagine what this is going to spin out? When I go to slinging all these colors everywhere, it's going to be amazing. Then we got that red on top of that blue. We're going to throw some color shift on top of some of these colors. I've already started to... Okay, so I'm going to move it just a tad. Okay. Because I'm actually starting to get some runoff on one side. So I'm not real happy. I didn't realize I was going that far to the corner. I'm going to add some of this. This is Sea Foam by Porridge Posse. Or Porridge Posse. <clears throat> Do I want to add some of this white? It is just satin enamel. And, oh. That wasn't ha he wasn't happy. That wasn't cool. But it was easy to get out. Then, I'm going to add some more Blue Lagoon on top of that white. Where's my purple? I haven't used purple today. Oh, we're going to add this turquoise. This is turquoise by Liquitex. Turquoise blue. Okay. Um, I want looking for my purple, which has escaped me. I'm not happy about that. Oh, here we've got some purple right here. This is some purple uh, color shift. This is some really pretty color shift. Um, paint as well. My all-time favorite is the Aqua Shift, though. Um, I do have some dioxazine purple. We're going to put down... No, I'm sorry. This is Permanent Blue Violet um, by uh, Amsterdam. Excuse me. I don't have any dioxazine purple mixed up. I don't know why I even said that. Okay. 
And let me tell you, this is not getting the last drop of paint out. <laughs> this is just blobbing it up out there. Got some fluorescent red and some copper I'm going to use. Or some bronze. Although my fluorescent red is really thick. So we're just gonna, you know, I may just kind of streak this on. There we go. I mean, these colors may not last, may not look good together, but I'm just trying to use some colors up that I've got. Okay, that was fire opal. Now I'm going to bring in some bronze, some chestnut bronze by Porge Posse. I may just streak this too. Just kind of drizzle that on like this for effects. Okay, I've got one more metallic I'm going to use. I don't have a lot of it left mixed up, and that's okay, but I will use it. This is Golden's Iridescent Bright Gold Fine. Oh, I love this color. So amazing. So, this is a mess, of course. Looks like a mess. I've got enough paint on. Now, I'm going to start my swirl. It is going to move and streak out and spin a little paint off. Do I have all of my... I don't need any electrical shocks here today. Okay, so since this is a bigger canvas, I'm going to use a bigger end of my paint. So here we go. I'm going to start at the end. We're going to slow that down. There we go. I don't need my lines spinning off the canvas just yet. I just need my lines real tight. Come on. There we go. My spinner doesn't act, want to act right either. Come on. There we go. Just need a slow, steady spin. You can drag it on your canvas. You don't have to. You're going to get lines one way or the other. Dragging it through all these colors. You just need to be mindful of your last line. And just keep going. It pretty much, come on. It pretty much does the work itself. Once you get all your paint on.
Okay, I'm going to start. I'm going to use the big one and see what it does. Trying to be mindful of that last line I went through. Just letting it do its thing. I'm almost there, guys. It's almost to the center. This big ball allows you to drag more colors around. Which is awesome. Right. Okay. Now, that is what it looks like right now. And I am dizzy by watching that. Isn't that crazy? So, anyway, I'm going to give this a good spin and get them to separate. Yeah, what I tell you, we're going to get messy today. I don't need it to sling like that. <laughs> Good God. Okay, so I see a big, I see a big problem spot. Which we're fixing to remove. Oh no, my finger just caught in that.
See how easy it is to fix? All right. Now, we're going to give it a... <laughs> we're going to give it another whirl the other way. There we go. Come on. Got to give it a little bit of a... My buttons are wet over here now, so I can't use my buttons. Which I didn't account for the buttons. <laughs> That's okay. So we're gonna spin it out a little bit. Yo, this was way too messy. But I'm getting decent results. on the edges of this canvas. If I can just get around. Y'all, I'm covered in paint. That's okay. That is totally fine. You know, it's art. Okay. Trying to keep the sides as uniformed as I can. Okay. Um, yeah, that's it. Now it's gonna look it, it's gonna it's gonna dry wild. There's a lot of metallic. Um, a lot of opaque, y'all. Hi! <laughs> it's slung everywhere. My seat's wet over there for, for guests. Sorry. <laughs> um, but overall, I like it. It went a little wavy. My son is going to kill me. I just painted his shoes. Oh, no. Anyway, we'll just go with it. He'll grab at me later. <clears throat> but I like it. Um, the, the lines took a little wavy turn, and I don't like that. But it's okay. It did what it was going to do. You know, that's what paint does. So, anyway, this is how you do the Selman Spiral. Um, you can probably do it on a spinner. it would just take you a lot of time to do it. But, that's it. Um, it's a multicolored. It's kind of wild. Um, but if you like this, like, share, and subscribe to my channel uh, for more uh, videos. Um, share them to your social media, uh, social media page because that helps me get more views. That helps me bring my type of art, uh, my colorful art to the world. Um, so, uh, 
uh, go check me out. I've got several videos. Uh, so, yeah, y'all have a wonderful day. Happy New Year's. Um, I love each and every one of my, uh, every one of y'all, whether y'all are um, a subscriber or not, I don't care. Um, life's too short to be mean. So, with that being said, y'all have a good day. Enjoy your journey. I hope you enjoyed this one. And I will see you in the next video. Take care.